Hello everyone, my name is Ophelia Amor, I'm a health coach and a yoga teacher and I was uh, asked by a certain group a while back to create a presentation about managing life in a demanding work environment. The presentation was received pretty good so I decided to post it here on YouTube so everybody can benefit from it. So let's begin. First of all it's very important to start your day right? In the morning when you take your morning shower, alternate hot and cold showers, about one minute each. That will help to get your blood moving, your lymphatic system moving, and uh, get your heart to the right pace and wake up, basically. Set your mind for the day. Listen to uplifting music or positive suggestions when you make your breakfast, when you drink your tea. Admire beautiful scenery or house plants. Do a short meditation. It's very good to do meditations at the beginning of the day. And you can start your day on a background of calmness and peace. Drink a glass of warm water with lemon juice on an empty stomach. Why this is good? First of all, lemon is very detoxifying. In the same time, the warm water, a little bit warmer than the body temperature, not hot, but warmer helps the cells to relax and flush out their toxins, helping to release the toxins from the cellular level. And lemon dissolved in water helps to go into the cells and aid to detoxification process. There are a few aspects I consider important for a balanced lifestyle is the importance of diet, of exercise, breathing, and sleep. So now, first of all, let's uh, see the importance of diet, which is very recommended for a harmonious lifestyle. First, eat fresh foods. Fresh foods have high levels of essential vitamins, minerals, fiber, enzymes, and other nutrients essential for good health. They are high in good oils. We don't need to be afraid of healthy oils. The healthy oils are very beneficial for our body and health. The brain is 75% fat. So it's very important to feed our body with healthy, nourishing oils, which can be oils obtained from nuts, from seeds, avocado oil, grapeseed oil, olive oil, which is unrefined and cold-pressed, coconut oil. There are now stores which are specialized on selling oils and vinegars, which are very high quality. For example, the oils from the nuts and seeds uh, they're extremely uh, nourishing and expensive at the same time, but very healthy. Fresh foods help us to promote good weight management. You can also look a little bit and play with the raw food diet, which implies to eat for a certain period of time, as long as you want, or a certain percent of your diet on your day to be made of raw foods. So unprocessed with heat, or with very low heat, under 114 Fahrenheit degrees. Look into the raw food diet because there are many options these days of eating very delicious meals out of raw uh, foods. They can be prepared in specific ways that uh, you don't even say they are not cooked, but their nutrients are intact, not destroyed by heat. Let's see now the benefits of lemon water. We need water to hydrate ourselves, and lemon helps to with this hydration and to detoxifying the body, as we said. Helps also at the same time with digestion, creates hydration, promotes liver detox and weight loss, boosts the immune, immune function due to uh, high levels of vitamin C, reduces inflammation, provides an energy boost, lowers blood pressure. Also very important is to eat your greens, which are high in chlorophyll, which is also uh, somehow called liquid light. Eat the greens in your salads, smoothies, and juices, in soups. For example, avocado is for weight loss, broccoli is for bone health, celery for blood pressure, spinach is for iron and digestive health, leafy greens for calcium. So I encourage you, for example, to drink for a period of time celery juice. If you heard about the medical medium, who promotes celery juice, like to drink the juice for one bunch or two bunches of celery every day, which is extremely, extremely healthy. It's a little bit salty, 
but it's a different salt than the salt, the table salt. So it's very, assim very easily assimilated by the body and actually helps to reduce the blood pressure. For example, you can make uh, celery soup uh, with raw celery and uh, other ingredients. You can look up online for uh, recipes for raw celery soup, which is delicious with avocado. Also, you can uh, eat spinach in salads and leafy greens are very high in calcium. You can also add them in your smoothies and juices. For example, parsley, very good for detoxing the kidneys. And here a good uh, big chapter of uh, a healthy balanced diet it is to add bee products in your diet. Uh, many of you probably know some of the bee products which are more popular like honey and bee pollen but there are a few others which are less popular but they are extremely healthy and they give us a lot of health benefits. A few facts about the bees. Bees pollinate a shocking 85% of crops intended for human consumption. Research suggests that bees are critical to our environment, climate change, and most important, our health. Actually, uh, it is thought that uh, without the bees, we are not will not be able to live on this planet, as most of the foods depend on the pollinate, pollination process created by the bees. For example, let's talk a little bit about the honey. Honey has extraordinary benefits for health. And here I did find on the internet some nice charts about the benefits of honey. Uh, some of them they have the, where I got them from, but uh, not all of them. I like to give credit for uh, people who, you, who created these charts because they are very well done. The honey contains a variety of essential nutrients like antioxidants, enzymes, vitamins, and minerals. It has antibacterial action. It's great for brain health. can replace sugar and other sweeteners use in your food and cooking with honey. And here are a few observations. Uh, it is very powerful, antibacterial, antiviral, very good when you are uh, uh, sick to mix honey with essential oils, which are very good for colds or for other diseases you might have, like digestive issues or flus, stuff like this. You uh, can mix uh, essential oils with honey and then uh, take a little at a time. For example, if you have any kind of skin condition, you can mix honey with uh, whites from eggs and create a little lotion to put on the skin if you have burnt skin or you have eczemas. I know, uh, for example, bee propolis mixed with honey and uh, aloe vera. It's an external solution for regenerating the, the skin, wounds on the skin, even open wounds on the skin. So again, Bee propolis, honey, and aloe vera gel. So honey, it's an extremely, extremely food that can be also used in healing. Bee pollen contains more than 250 active substances necessary for life. We could live on bee pollen if no other food existed anymore because it has pretty much all the elements and nutrients we need to survive. It has an High antioxidant content and protects against free radicals, creates a high detox effect, positive effects against allergies. You can take a teaspoon of bee pollen 15 minutes before meal. And some people might have some reactions, digestive reactions to bee pollen, which is very active. You can mix it with a little bit of honey if your belly, tummy starts to hurt you a little bit at the beginning until you get used to it. You can mix it, mix it with pure raw honey. Bee pollen is extremely good against allergies. People who have allergies are recommended to add bee pollen from their area in their daily diet. It's like a natural vaccine. It's good if you find bee pollen locally. Now let's see a little bit about the bee propolis. Bee propolis, it's a kind of dark substance. Uh, I go here on this chart and I'll see, you see this, the second, one on the bottom here, where is the honeycombs, and the next one from the left, it's the bee propolis, and also the second one from the right is the bee uh, propolis. That's how it looks. It's not good in itself by itself. It needs to be diluted with alcohol. Propolis is a sticky substance that consists in over 300 compounds, comprising resins and other natural ingredients, such as 
vegetables, balsams, flower oils, pollen, and waxes. It helps gastrointestinal disorders, allergies, gynecological, oral, and dermatological problems, strengthens the immunity system. It is very good if you have flus or colds to put drops of bee propolis on uh, a piece of bread and eat them or to um, put them in gel capsules and basically uh, fill the gel capsules with bee propolis that the drop or the bottles come with and uh, to ingest it like that, like any other uh, pills you might take. Also helps with uh, allergies, helps to balance the digestive system and very good for the immunity system, very good for the immunity system. But it's very good to heal very, very fast wounds. And now another product of the bees is the royal jelly. The royal jelly is the food the queen is fed with and the baby bees. It's a bee secretion that is used in the nutrition of the larva and adult queens. It is secreted from a specific gland of nurse bees and fed to all larvas in the larva in the colony. Royal jelly has protective effects on reproductive health, neurodegenerative disorders, wound healing and anti-aging. The name the royal jelly is it represents very well its qualities because indeed it's the food of queens or of the royals. It's extremely regenerative. You can find it in different forms like a gel in the picture a little bit liquid or in powder in capsules, uh, dried. It is not cheap, but you have to take very little at a time. So if you find a source of uh, royal jelly, I encourage you to use it because it's extremely, extremely regenerating. Now let's see the second uh, step, which is recommended for a harmonious lifestyle, the import importance of exercise. So physical exercise promotes production of endorphins, which are the happiness hormones. Yoga exercises create awareness and reconnect the feelings, mind and body. And as I'm a teacher of yoga, I do recommend everybody to practice yoga, from children to seniors. Everybody can benefit from the yoga practice. Exercise eliminates stress, which is the cause of 80% of all diseases. My personal believe it is that we can control of our diseases and heal our diseases if we have a balanced lifestyle and most of the diseases come from stress and unhealthy lifestyle. So if we address these issues, we can be uh, very healthy and have a harmonious life and a healthy life. So let's see now example of activities to stimulate the regeneration and well-being, which are very simple exercises that everybody can practice. Walk bare feet in grass on a lake or ocean shore. Of course, in the Midwest when it's winter and in the parts of the world where it's winter, you cannot walk bare feet all year round, but you can use the grounding mats. You can search the earthing.com website or search, search grounding and you'll find mats which help you to stay grounded. And uh, it is important for us to eliminate and discharge the accumulated electromagnetic fields from our body in the earth because we are electric beings and if we uh, accumulate too much static energy in our body, our electric system can uh, become out, come out of balance and disturb all health. So if you cannot walk bare feet in grass on, on shore ocean or lake, use grounding mats, sunbathe in the mornings and evenings when the radiations are at minimum, of course during the times when that is possible, especially in the south southern hemisphere in the southern part of the United States you can lay in sun and uh, assimilate the vitamin D from the sun pretty much all year round, but do it when it's appropriate, do not stay to burn your skin. Some ideas to make exercise fun and simple at home. Rebound 10 minutes a day. You can use a rebounder. Now they are small rebounders. You can have them in your house. Some of them, they have bars. You can hold on them and you can just bounce up and down without even leaving the mat. Rebounding is one of the best exercises in cancer prevention. It's the only exercise which stimulates the lymphatic system. 
and it's very fun. Kids like it. If you find for kids trampolines and rebounding to put them outside, they, I'm sure they will enjoy it a lot. And they'll bounce on it outside instead of bounce on the bed inside the house. Also stand on the vibrating plate, even while work about 10 minutes daily. Now these vibratory plates are very affordable, very different sizes. And if they are small plates, you can put them underneath your desk and they shake your legs, stimulating your chi energy, your blood, your nerves. They are very, very efficient. And they really create a very pleasant sensation. Eye exercises are very good. Eliminate stress and promote calmness. Creates great, greater control of emotional stress. Improve eyesight and relieve eye strains. Eliminate headaches and blurred vision can be used also as emotional healing therapy, see the EMDR therapy, which starts to be very popular these days. Here on the side, I um, have a little chart with a few eye exercises called Yoga for the Eye Health, and I do recommend you to practice them. It helps to improve the concentration, relief from eye strain, create a better vision, a calmer mind, comfort from dry eyes, lesser chances of eye diseases. So one of them is palming exercise. You rub your palms together, placing them both on your eyes. Palms a little scooped without pressing the eyes balls. Eyes balls a little bit open. And hold your palms above your eye that way for a couple minutes and you'll see the warmth from your palms irradiate through your eyes. Calming and relaxing your eye muscles. They can balance the brain waves, eliminating headaches. That's why when you're upset, when you're stressed, you have the tendency to keep your palms on your forehead, on your eyes, on your head. Another exercise is to rotate your eyes. Move your eyes all the way around in a circle or on a square imaginary frame, or you can actually even use a window frame or a door frame. Move your eyes on this frame and blink on each corner, alternate movements with blinking. Also, you can rotate your eyes in a figure eight shape. Another eyes exercise is to alternate blinking with the uh, wide opening of the eye. So you can do this blinking exercise where you blink, wide open your eyes and then squeeze your eyes, force this blinking and helps to bring moisture in your eyes and fresh blood. A form of eye relaxation is to stare in the space without looking to anything particular to have this kind of blur vision of the objects around you, like the daydreaming. If you do that exercise, you can um, create specific brain waves, which are very similar with the meditation brain waves, which will induce a state of calmness and peace. So I do recommend eye exercises as often as possible. And now the importance of breathing. I do recommend it for a harmonious li lifestyle. Deep breath can provide you with a greater sense of mental clarity and awareness, better sleep, digest food more efficiently, improve your body's immune response, reduces the stress levels, regulate the sympathetic nervous system, the heart rate and blood pressure, it is normalized. Take short breaks during the day to focus on your breath. You'll notice when your breath becomes more calm, your mind will slow down and you'll find peace within yourself. So I encourage you to learn a few simple breathing exercises. One exercise which I recommend to people who are not very used to profound and complex breathing exercises, but at the beginning, to look into the Zen breath meditation, which is Vipassana meditation. It's a very simple form of meditation where you can focus your attention on breathing without changing its course, letting it be all natural. And observe how when your mind identifies with the breath, your mind will calm down, your body will relax, and has extremely, extremely mind, body, soul benefits. So search the Vipassana meditation or just take a few minutes during the day to focus on your breath and be just a mere witness of your breath. Do not change it. Just observe it. The importance of rest and sleeping. 
Another element to recommend it for a harmonious lifestyle. There are multiple benefits in proper rest and sleep, better productivity and concentration, lower weight gain risk, greater athletic performances, lower risk of heart disease, more social and emotional intelligence, lower inflammation, stronger immune system. A few tips for better sleep. Sleep in total darkness, especially if you work nights and have to sleep during the day. Do not watch TV. Read on your phone or computer at least one hour before bedtime. Blue light from radiations disrupt brainwaves related to deep restful sleep. Do not use blue lights in your bedroom. Use blue blockers glasses before going to bed. These blue blocker glasses are very popular lately. They are basically um, glasses with orange lens and help to stimulate the production of melatonin, which is the hormone produced by the pineal gland. Its peak level it is during the night. Also, you can take melato melatonin supplements before bedtime to help you better sleep. Practice a relaxation exercise during the day and before you go to sleep. And here on my channel, you will find relaxation exercises. And you can uh, practice this before you go to bed. It's important for you to not fall asleep during the exercise, but to be aware and that will help you to actually fall asleep afterwards in a very profound sleep. It's very important to have a profound sleep, even shorter. If it's profound, it's much more restful and regenerating than a longer period of time sleeping very agitated. So use blue blockers, take melatonin supplements, and practice relaxation before bedtime. My dears, pretty much this was my presentation about how to manage life under stressful work environments, which I know a lot of us experience. I hope you enjoy this and you will follow some of these uh, recommendations. If you have any questions, any suggestions, I do appreciate your comments, your likes and subscriptions to my channel. Thank you very much.